Yeah, hello, my name is Martin. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can get a smooth edge on your layer mask. Um, it doesn't matter how you create the mask. You can use the plugin or you can use Photoshop or which tool you like. Um, but I can say it's very fast and easy to smoothen the edge with the new tool which is coming with CS3 in Photoshop and I will show you how easy and fast you can change the looking of your mask of the edge. We get in and this so you can see how hard the line is from this mask and then we can directly start on the new tool. Um, on the new panel you have on the CS4 you can only click on this button and you're in in the new dialogue which is coming with CS3. You have different options how you want to look on this dialogue. It's a normal selection look in, the quick mask mode, the background in black and background in white and the normal like you do by clicking alt key and the layer symbol. Um, this is why I like to use the white background. Here we've got some adjustments I want to delete first for you. So um, this is our adjustments I start with on the normal way and again you can see how hard this line is go back to the background white and I only want to use all the sliders here um, it's not needful for this mask I only want to go down with the contrast slightly a little more blur looking so even if you use smooth it's much more blur on the edge on the line and uh, with the expect and contract slider um, it's the best I want to choose all the time to change the size of the mask you can go to the minus side or you can go to the plus side you see directly what happened so on um, this way we will go to the minus side to become the background nearer to the arm. I click only in in the minus side. Choose a parameter I want to have. Smoothen a little bit more. Like more realistic looking. Change the contrast. Become more smooth on the line go down with the layer and I think this is okay so we can click on the okay and now we can look on the before and after what happened in this area with our layer mask oh sorry go to this so and now you can see after the changed parameters it's very realistic looking on this so that's it for today i hope you like it's helpful for you and we'll see you the next time bye